Time for our digital highlight as the Longhorns close out their home schedule, taking on TCU. Been a real struggle for the Horn Frogs. A lot of injuries, and Texas tried to take advantage in the beginning of this basketball game. A little high low for Cameron Ridley, and big advantage down inside. Paul Sunderland with Bruce Bowen, and things were going very, very well for Texas until Keenan Anderson really got started. 18 first half points kept him in it. Yeah, and the fact is he kept them off balance the whole game. And when you're able to keep a player off balance as far as that's trying to defend you, now you're at the mercy of whatever they want to do. Isaiah Taylor, nice pull-up jump shot. He hit three out of his first four, and he continues to expand and improve his game. But Texas would foul a lot in the last couple of minutes of the first half, much to the chagrin of head coach Rick Barnes. And Anderson comes out, hits a three, and all of a sudden, we got a game in the second half. Texas Christian would cut it to eight. And if you're Texas, this is a team you had a chance to blow out. Jonathan Holmes did not play, a little bit of a knee soreness, but if you're Texas, what's your impression after this game going into Texas Tech and then the tournament? It's a win, but you're disappointed because you're not building on the wins, especially with tournament time so near. So you want to come out, and if a team happens to beat you, but you're playing the way that you guys are practicing and you're building towards something even bigger than just this right now, that's what you want. Texas hangs on to win it. Texas Tech, final game of the regular season. Isaiah, I'm not sure if that last turnover counted on you or Connor, but I know you were trying to get it out of your hands. How did turnovers, why did turnovers plague this team in the way that they did tonight and in games past? Um, I know that when we turn the ball over, we don't win games. So we just try to uh, keep it tight to us today and just uh, keep the ball moving as, as much as possible and then hit the gaps. When you kept the ball moving, you were able to get 21 points on the night. TCU zone at times, I know, has frustrated you. How did you feel you were able to get to the basket? Um, knocking down a couple mid-range jumpers uh, in the first half uh, really made me comfortable. Um, I know that hasn't been my strong suit the whole season, and I've just been in the gym working on that. And uh, just having teammates that can open up the floor for me really helped me. What does it mean to you all in this season to defend home court in the way that you have when you think back on it, just two losses on this court throughout the season? Um, we we know that we play great at home, but um, I think our I think our uh, backbone is when uh, we go on the road. Uh, we, we really need to get better on the road. Uh, we haven't won, I think, our past four road games, so we need to get better at that. How do you explain the fouling situation tonight? Coach Barnes clearly frustrated at just about every timeout I listened on. What was going on out there? Um, not only Coach Barnes, but I mean, the players are also frustrated, all the coaches and, and just the whole Texas Longhorn staff. Uh, we were just saying uh, just to keep them off the line, but we kept reaching and we kept getting our nose in there and we kept we kept fouling them, put them on the line so they could stay in the game. One more game in the regular season as you head to Lubbock this weekend. What does this team need to do to create some momentum for the postseason? Uh, just to stay composed, just to stay composed. Uh, we know that we're a good team and uh, we're going to play with the swagger like we have. And so uh, just uh, just compete through the whole 40 minutes is just really going to help us and just uh, just uh, put 110% on the court every day. Isaiah Taylor bringing the swagger back for the postseason. Thanks, Isaiah.